Zaksia Richard from uh, Greenpeace. We've heard from ministers now their position. What do you make of the agreement that they finally reached this morning? Well, we think overall it's a weak deal, but it might just leave the door open enough for negotiations with the parliament to continue. We think that both houses should find common ground. It's important for fish and fishermen, but there's still somewhere to go. And when you say it's a weak deal, on those key aspects like discards, where has it fallen short in your eyes, where we are at so far with, the, with this plan for reform? Yeah, first of all, everybody can see the brakes are on if you negotiate all night. And on discard, uh, on the discard ban, it's not actually a discard ban. It's a limitation, which is good. Um, discarding will be limited, but there's still a possibility to discard as much as 5% throughout the year and lots of other loopholes which we're not satisfied with. And can you be a bit more specific on the loopholes when it comes to discards? Because the idea is that it will work species by species, mm -hmm. which seems kind of very practical. Uh, where is it that it's not good enough mm -hmm. for you? First of all, we, we don't mind that it's being phased in, but the Parliament, for example, has suggested that all species should be covered, regardless of whether they're managed by quota or not, whereas the Council limits it just to quota fish, which in the Mediterranean, for example, are just 15% of all species in the Mediterranean. And on other aspects, for example, uh, the idea that fish should be fished at much uh, more sustainable levels, in other words, where the scientific advice suggests the numbers. Um, what do you make of where ministers are at on that one? Yeah, the long night only got us to a halfway deal. Ministers agreed to uh, recover fish stocks to healthy levels, but they didn't set a timeline or a deadline for this. And how are we going to manage to measure um, uh, achievements against the goal if we don't know by when these stocks should be recovered? We're calling for 2020 to be the target date. So for fishermen in Scotland, as these plans stand, what difference would they see? And for them in particular, where does this fall short overall, do you feel? Well, I think, again, one of the big changes will be the discard limitation. So they will not be able to discard as much, which is good. More, much more fish will be brought to land and not wasted at sea. That's a good step. We also will see changes in the fishing pressure. So in some areas, we might be able to increase fishing pressures because stocks are recovering. But in other areas, we might see reductions. You mentioned this is a weak deal. It's not good enough as it stands. There's still opportunity to, to have discussions in the European Parliament. If it, however, does go through as we've got it at the moment, is that at least better than the current situation when it comes to fisheries? Yeah, it's up to the Parliament now to decide how far they can push this and the devil is in the detail. But I do think it's important to have this reform because it will be a step forward.